All right, chat. Here we go. Um, this is Dream Wild. This just seemed like a wacky game that needed a spotlight. Graphics crunchy. Toggle full screen. I mean, I kind of... Yes. I mean, I want to do the recommended, but I also... Would rather... I, I see what it's going for with the pixels. This is fine. I, I can... We can do this. The music isn't just kind of good. The music is good. Sometimes Sunday stream the game just drops out of nowhere. Oh, the fucking... Mouse sensitivity is way too high and there's no op in-game options. Why- why am I this low to the ground? This reminds me, like I said, it reminds me of Cruelty Squad a little bit. Fungal Plains. Okay, so this is like just showing you the various enemies and stuff. Gubbins are the lifeblood of the Dream Wilds. When you pick up a Gubbin, you regain HP. Okay. Fungal breeding ground. Like, you are just on the floor, doing the dinosaur. like devil daggers Vinny you need to read the tutorial sign I did it said something about like fungus It says, my white blood cells fighting microplastics. I saw an informative graphic about how our grandparents had lead. Our parents had asbestos, and now we have microplastics. It's pretty cool. I think the next hundred years is going to be a really interesting time for human evolution. Okay, I'm going back to the tutorial because I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. I mean, if we run out of uh, material in this game, I can always just make this again weird with it. Okay, 
so I read that. You'll often move much faster in the air than the ground. Manipulate movement, try to maximize air time. Keep in mind you move faster, moving diagonally. So it's like, um... Oh, I see. You know what, it reminds me of a surf map. Kind of get it, but what's the point here? You can easily sidestep them. They spit out gobs. Horus Eye. There's not much to read about other than like here's the enemies and also you move fast when you're in the air and that's it. I think I was expecting more of an adventure game. Get to a home portal. There's other areas to explore. You can unlock new enemies that cost gubbins. I wouldn't go there until you level up your stuff back home. Home portals are the big orbs. <laughs> Please go. Okay, that's dead. Yeah, when you take a hit, you lose your ability to shoot. Ah. Is this by the Juice World dev? Maybe? No, I don't think it is, though. So it looks like you have to defeat enemies, collect stuff, and then go through the portals. It's fucking weird. Vinny, you need to jump. I promise you I've been jumping this whole time. It's just, your jump is very meager, and you need to, like, s like surf up hills and stuff. Find a portal. Stop that. Chat, I can't find a portal. I think I found one. One HP remains. You suck! This game gets a lot easier when you start getting health upgrades. The spheres rubber band, if you run further from them, they follow you faster. Trying to 
keep some air. Please die. Please die. Please die. Okay, the movement is making a whole lot more sense now, but it's just figuring out how to maintain momentum is, like, super, super important. Okay. Ow. Do I have to collect their corpses or something? Or... Because now I'm, I only have one star. Oh, God. Vinny, their drops. You gotta get their drops. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I know what I have to do now. It's addictive. The game is definitely addictive. There's a... Like... When you lock in a little bit, I can see how this might be really fun. But right now, it's it's extremely... Um, unforgiving. The good news is drops chase you. However, the bad news is enemies are just as fast. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. There we go, got one. That's five. Where, where was that portal chat? Oh, it's right there. Like, you could give me directions to it. You should, it's it's that way, Vinny. When you stop looking at the portal, does it fucking disappear? Come on, I need to get up there. No, I that was just silly of me to say that. That's not the case. Come on. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Get up. I went the opposite way. No, you just have no spatial awareness. Oh. Give me like I got this this time, chat. I got this this time. Someone said, "Come on, chat. Don't be mean." <laughs> that's what that's chat's job, chat member. What do you expect? <laughs> That's also the best way to get even more mean chat members, is to tell them to stop being mean. Uh, I got stuck on a thing, got stuck on a thing, got stuck on a thing. I need my laser. Please, give me my laser. I need HP for laser, which means killing enemies. When you don't have laser, you're just kind of like fucked, aren't you?
please don't attack me. Please don't. Please, 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 please. I'm just gonna chill by this portal. Oh, oh wow. Clouds. Chat, I got the five. I did it. I did something. Something happened. Huh. New enemies just dropped. Oh, that seems fair. When do I upgrade my stuff? If you see an orb on a pyramid that leads you back to your home. I beg you, look for an orb. Oh. I mean, I'm fascinated by this game, but it is very punishing. I saw it like a pillar of light in the sky, chat. Okay, now it's time to run. Now it's time to die, I guess. Yeah, I don't know where that pillar is. Never mind. I'm managing to get some health back. I see a pillar. I see light. It's that way. score. Um, very frustrating game. You gotta look at your enemies. Yeah, but then if I look at my enemies, I mean, there should be like a compass, so I know I'm going the right direction. But I, if I look at my enemies, then I don't know how to get to the Pillar of Light. Okay, there's the Pillar of Light. See, I've already lost it. There it is, there it is. Now, should I bring money to the orb so I can use it to upgrade? Or should I just go in? I, I should probably get some stuff. All right. Mm. 
Leave my shots. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, how about that? Hylix, anyone? What do I do? Nothing's happening. Wow, I'm dumb. Yeah, this is super high lexy. I've been getting into the sort of binaural beats thing, it's pretty crazy, dude. Now I feel like the eternal beats are going through all the dream wilds, man. Have you been wondering where this castle came from? I mean, that's what I've been wondering. One day it just showed up. Hey there, handsome. Come for a dip in the pool? Care if I join? Come on, you can admit it. You love my luscious curves and my beautiful angles. I like your angles too. I can't say that I've ever seen a shape as abstract as yours. At least not in this backwater realm. What do you think of it, hunk? Just two beautiful shapes, us against the world. Just looking at you makes me feel like a young rhombus again. I wonder how much of chat wants to fuck that abstract shape. You're feeling smart today? I feel smart every day. With a shake of my concrete capsid, I can calculate so many things. Chat, what? Why can't I buy more stuff? Also, this thing is insane. Price is ten. You only have seven. Ow. What did I just buy? I don't even know what that upgrade was. Make sure to stay moist. Vinny, you bought a cosmetic item? Oh, fuck. I needed, like, an actual upgrade. I thought the eye would do something cool. than I expected. Vinny, <laughs> you bought a Fortnite season pass. Oh, is that what that was? This leads to a deeper place beyond this edifice. Strong magic is a hold here. Great noise. Hey, Zito. Thank you for the raid. Music ranges from early 90s middies to, like, 
trance to like electrocock to script cop to glip glop it's just everywhere and very hyluxy too in some ways well not not as much as uh hylix 2 I guess we'll we'll go again and, and farm a little bit more and try to get some better upgrades. No, I chat, I have this eye. Does this eye tell you where a portal is? Oh I think it no? Where is it leading? Tells you where the boss key is. Alright, well, at least it is something. Very weird, but I'm starting to enjoy the gameplay. It's time to return, I think. I think we've we farmed enough. Vinny, I'm, I'm almost about to wishlist this game. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it in the first... 10-15 minutes because it was really frustrating and it, and it had like a pretty intense learning curve but now I'm starting to understand it more and I, I kind of get it Vinny just a warning there's unavoidable permadeath what, what are you talking about? I upgraded my attack twice. You... You carry over nothing. I should have upgraded my health. When do you permadeath? So wait, if you die, you just lose all your upgrades? Is that what you're talking about? Just when you die. Oh, good. Oh, dear. All right, well, I'm gonna get some health upgrades. But I'm now killing things in one hit, which is, which is nice. Like those things, at least. But you, you gotta try to f keep your um, ranged attack. That's like so fucking important. Yeah. 
still good. Still good, chat. Still good. Now would be a good time to uh, find an orb. Someone said, I still prefer Galgun. Well, that's a given. Oof. Chad, I kind of just got pushed into a portal. Oh no. Uh, could there be an orb home here? This area is too high level for you. Oh, oh, I see one. Hang on. There's no enemies following me. There are enemies following me, but I made it. That was Magenta Mountain. You're right. I only get one health because I went for more, um, I went for too much attack. I don't need any healing at the moment, no? I only have six health max anyway. But yeah, the permadeath is definitely a problem. Because I know I'm going to end up dying and not keeping the upgrades is going to suck. You do get tomes that go into the lore of the game every time you die. Oh god, it brought me back here, chat. I'll just waste the gubbins to get out of here. I, I'm calling them gubbins now. <laughs> Worth it. Okay, well, let's do a little bit more farming. And then, uh... I'll try to progress a little. I, I guess this doesn't have to become a getting weird with it because this is just interesting now on its own. And I'm not dying as much. Yeah, with the attack upgrades, it's not so difficult to farm here. I kind of wish those enemies looked a little bit more dead. Oh, when you upgrade your health past five, you can still shoot. 
So if you take one damage, you still have shoot. Yeah, that's gonna be... health is a, is a pretty important... More important than I gave it credit for at first. But yeah, that's, that's uh, gonna make things a lot easier. Ah! Health upgrade chat. Also, I'm assuming harder enemies give more gubbins. 25? Okay. Someone said, I like that scum like is a new genre. Well, between this cruelty squad and that juice game, and like probably a bunch of others, yeah, scum is definitely in. There's actually a game I have in my inventory right now that's also scummy, and I don't remember the name of it, but I'll probably play it. That was what I was going to play after this, if, uh, if we needed more. I just want to get... so I got 25. I'm going to go for two upgrades. So 25 plus 30 is 65. Or is it 55? Wow. Yeah, it's 55. I was not a math major, as you know. Ah! As you know, the fisheye is worth at least 15 points. What was the organ harvesting game where the environment was like Dune? I don't remember the name of that one, but that one was extremely, extremely crustaceaned. Rot flesh. Yeah, that one was pretty cool. Should I get the potion? What is, what is the potion? Places I used to heal. Yes. <clears throat> Not worth. Vinny, your voice is iconic to me. Wait, or, or are you talking about Captain Falcon? You're talking about Captain Falcon. Yeah. Well, thank you, chat member. That's nice. I, I make a living off of my voice, and I also use it for my my passions in life. And so, when I was like playing Mario and Rabbits, and I was uh, crusted out and I couldn't speak without that was just horrendous. I am an MP3 on the internet, after all. But yeah, it is kind of scary how much of what I do for, you know, my creativity and, and life is just uh, tied to my speaking. Which, um... You know, you gotta take care of your... You gotta take care of your thrussy. And, uh... Make sure that, you know, you don't overexert. Why is the eye spinning uncontrollably? Yeah, I don't- I don't know. Ah! 
I was hoping it would... Whoa. I was hoping it would guide me to, um... We could have used that speed. That would have been nice. To the, the boss. Or the key or whatever. Or it's just some new location. Also, chat, this time of year is Eyes Wide Shut time of year. I need to do my yearly rewatch. <laughs> because I'm a fucking weirdo. Oh. It's just that time of year. It's a Christmas movie. Here again. This is not the area that I should have gone to, I don't think. I'm just gonna head in the direction the eye is pointing. I think we found the key. to leave this place. I need to leave this place now. I don't have the required amount of gubbin. There's a portal. I got stuck on a wall. I get stuck in a wall. And that's the run. You go faster diagonally. I know, but in, in the like the heat of the moment, it's hard to remember that. So now, all my upgrades are gone. Which is really unfortunate because it just means a lot of farming. So I don't I don't like that. 
Um, but yes, you do unlock... You do unlock some stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a cool game. It's gonna appeal to a certain type of player, for sure. And I thought... Once I got into it, it was a lot of fun. But, yeah, and I also went to the harder area. Like, the one that I probably shouldn't have been at. I skipped a whole area, so that didn't help. But, um, yeah, the grindy shit is not all that great, because in order to get your upgrades back, to get to the area you need to go to, you need to go through all that stuff again. So that's not for me, but the rest of the game is really cool. The music is awesome. The visuals are cool. The gameplay is really fun. That weird foreskin creature is great. So, I can see why people recommended this. It's good. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, chat. I'll tell you what. I want to get going in about 10-15 minutes. Oh, well. But I'll give you a little bonus. Just had to check. Oh my god, my vine flesh whirl. Is the top three. It should not be top three. It's terrible. It still says grapes. Check the bathroom. <laughs> so dumb. But yeah, this is an easy game to just, like, take a look at some stuff. E1M1. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jackal, you, you realize what you just typed in my chat, right? That's awesome. Okay, well, after... After this level, I'm going to tell you what Jackal said, and I'm also going to type in the suggestion. But this is actually really cool. Someone recreated Doom with stock images, and it actually works, and the armor... <laughs> okay, fine, so... Which... now, which one... <laughs> which one am I going to? Jackal said, Vinny, when you get a chance, type cum. It's a great name. The grass one. Okay. Good map. Good map. <laughs> I guess for those that don't know, I just want to show you, like, real quick, how you make a world. But, um, essentially, we're going to type in a thing, so we'll type, um... Taco. Right. 
Oh, there's Taco. Okay. Then you have set color of sky. Green, why not? Set color of floor. Extremely limited tools. Right? And then um, this is called Sock Worlds. This ended up being like kind of a hit for Jackal, myself, and others. No. No. Um, do we do Pink Floyd already? It's just a wall. Why not? I'm just giving an example. That's, that's a pretty cool version of the Division Bell cover. But if you want to, then you can also erase. So people use these very, very basic tools to create this like, somewhat elaborate shit. And that's it. You just have to search through the stock images. Someone said, I have 20 hours in this game since Vinny last played it. No, you can't do anything. So even if you type come, this is what you'll get. Wait, what? Uh, oh, it's the, the come monkey. I see. Jesus. Okay. So now you understand, for those that didn't see it the first time, how this stuff is made. Um, oh, daydreaming seems interesting. Wow. Oh, cool. The fact that this is something that, that you can do with just images. It's like, extremely creative. There you go. Thank you, sad, tired clown, for your map. This would be cool with the old web aesthetic, like Hypnospace Outlaw. Let's see, someone said something about... Hell to back? Well, said so someone said something about a pirate ship. To get to heaven, you must first go through hell. Spooked ya. Half of the challenge in this, when you're creating, is just to try to find something that matches what you want. So while I was trying to build my first map, trying to find like flesh walls, I had to type like ground beef. Um, steak, flesh, meat. <laughs> Windows XP, Linux. Someone said if this just had a better undo tool, or if it had any undo tool. Yeah, I agree the undo tool would help tremendously. If 
If Roblox doesn't fix their game soon, I'm going to leave them a bad review. Pineapple on pizza. Welcome to heaven. Hello, I am dog. Is that an upside down Golden Gate Bridge? <laughs> I mean, I guess that works. It could have been the McDonald's Golden Arches, but that's fine. I feel bad that my dumb map is in the top three and it doesn't deserve it, like at all. Downvote my map. Noodle World, I'll definitely check out. Also, Johnny, you can just... Um, Johnny, you can just leave this as part of the previous game, because I'm only going to play this another five, five or so minutes. <laughs> just bonus footage. To be fair, you probably put more eyes on this game than it's had in a while. Well, Sock... Um, sock Pop... What they were doing was releasing a game a month, and then whichever game hit, it would get an update. So what they did for the game Stack Worlds, or Stack Lands rather, the card game I played recently again, was they did like a couple months worth of updates, and they really like fleshed that game out nicely. So I'd love to see this get an update or two as well. How cool would this be? Oh man, you know what update I would like to see? Okay, so a couple, just a couple of editing tools. Just a few extra ones. Maybe some more, like another stock library. But imagine you can touch a portal and instantly go to someone else's world. So you can go back into your level and make your own LSD dream emulator type thing. Well, yeah, VR chat, but I'm I'm thinking more LSD. Like you touch the umbrella, and it takes you to Umbrella World. So I mean, VR chat does it for sure. But just a very simple. I mean, the thing I like about this is that it's not. Um, it's not whatever you can imagine you can put in here. You have to like actually work with limitations. That keeps it much more interesting. Noodle World JX. Yes, without learning Unity. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe making a level in this is a little easier than VR Chat. Maybe just slightly. Stormtrooper. Darth Vader? Oh, that's just a toy. Shrek. Darn. Hey, Shrek. Please. Alright, we got it. We made it. And... Okay. <laughs> Hide the pain.
Oh. Crip. Wow. I've experienced an emotion from that map. Jackal, any other suggestions? Have you played VR Chat's Organism? I believe I did. I'll do a couple more. Um. Was Organism in the Grey Leno video? Sad, tired clown. Oh, like all these are good? Well, the daydreaming map was really good. Organism was the big Soviet-looking one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Gray was there. Uncle Sad Bedroom. That's still the best name for a video game I think I've ever experienced in all of my years of streaming, is Uncle Sad Bedroom. I love that when I get, you know, to reference that dude's games, Jeremy's games, Jeremy Coyard, I get to say he's the Uncle Sad Bedroom developer. Again, there's a lot of dimension. It does remind me of uh, Worlds Exploration. You know, there, it, it kind of reminds me of those like um, dead internet place videos I've done. Wanted to do more, but the game is freezing up a lot. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Again, this is where I wish this one would have gotten some updates too. Seaside Temple. We'll do two more after this. Chat, if you know of any other um, dead internet places that are still online, like Worlds, or um, what is it? What was that? Traveler? Hypnospace? No, that's Hypnospace Outlaw. Active Worlds, Worlds, there was um, Hyper Digital Space Traveler, there you go. If I don't know if there's very much left. I, there was one that was recommended that's like an MMO. Whoa, tidal wave approaching. Um, that's like a 2D one. But man, I just fucking love those old weird like social program kind of things where people would just like build worlds and chat with each other. At this point, Second Life is banned from Twitch, chat member. Yeah, dick. And... VRML worlds from the 90s, maybe. This is a really interesting map. Um... There's a lot left to the imagination. Maybe there's some art here. Maybe there's something being said. But yeah, stuff like that I really enjoy. And and like... I think... Um, there's got to be like more of that stuff that was never really sent my way. Mega Church 80. Was that an NYC subway map? I'll check that out after this. Have you seen the Final Fantasy IX Memoria Project, the one where people are recreating Alexandria? No. No. 
Sounds cool. Okay, so this glitched. Oh man, you're right. That does look awesome. Wow. All right, one second here. Let me let me try that subway map and then we'll wrap this up. Again, just a little bonus thing to add on to the end of that video. Also, there were some rumors that we were going to get a Final Fantasy IX remake or remaster of some kind from that leak, the NVIDIA leak. So I really hope that happens. The Black Lodge. That's cool. Um, where did you see the subway map? Oh, is in like new levels? 16th Avenue Subway. Oh. Wasn't there supposed to be a Final Fantasy IX show? <laughs> yeah. Heard about that one too. Oh yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's worth sorting by new. Maybe we can get um, some Silent Hill stuff going on down here. Well, it's definitely not Manhattan, because if it was, there would be piss. I mean, that's all there is, just this little thing here. There's no guy shitting on the stairs, right? There's no one trying to sell you their mixtape or tell you about Jesus. And, and angrily yell at you about Jesus. I found the best way to learn about Jesus is to be screamed at by randos on the subway. No! Shit. Got it here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Why are there wizards in this town? Oh, a mallard! That's a fine mallard. time for Sock World's VR and really feel like you're in a JPEG. Is that Walter White? <laughs> and it's also this fucking thing. <laughs> Computered games. Well, I got stuck. I think we finished the map anyway, but I got stuck over here. Yeah, Sock Worlds is cool. I became the Uncle Sad Bedroom. I don't know. I think that game has a lot of potential. And regardless of whether or not it ends up becoming more than what it is, it's just really cool. It, it's just like anyone could sit there and make a map with a little bit of effort. And you are limited to whatever images are there.
I, I love that idea. But that'll be the end of this one. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Also, probably going to do commercials again soon um, because the people keep sending them in and because people keep requesting it. It's a segment people like. And, um, you know, I'll do whatever pleases you, Paul McCartney. I like it too. But less poops. Less poops is better. They're mostly new, from what I understand. Um, yeah, but this week, Mario and Rabbids, I did some side stuff on my own, so I can probably uh, be a little bit more powerful for the end of the game. I will probably get some Pokemon in there. I got some pre-recorded stuff. Um, we did some Warzone. I got more against the storm. And uh, Vinny, do the talking dog bit again someday. <laughs> okay, if I have some spicy water, I will. And I guess I kind of want to finish Goat Simulator since I only have about one stream left of stuff left to do. Maybe? If not, I mean... I don't know. Let me know what you think, chat. If I have one stream left of stuff, great. If if it's more than that, I'm probably not going to bother. But uh, that'll be that. And hopefully, I don't know when, I don't know who, but I would like to do some more Among Us VR because I had a lot of fun with that. Um, and also, someone said, Vinny, are you going to check out the new Splatoon 3 update? I might. Well, it's time for me to go. Uh, chat members, thank you very much. Subs, thank you. Doms, how dare you? No, that's... Um, I thought it was funny to say that in the moment. My uh, subscribers are very kind. And also, if you didn't get a chance to check out the charity that my friends did today, I'll link it one more time. It's like a charity for Movember. And they raised almost 21 k I just threw some links in the chat if you are interested. Um, but thank you for the support. Never expected, never requested, never required for you to be here. But um, for those that go a little extra for me, you do not have to do so, but thank you. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you later. Guys, today we're looking for a new spot to have breakfast. Jan's Chill Cafe with a good vibe. Boardwalk Roasters Laid Back Cafe with a good vibe. East Street Roasters Unfussy Good Vibes Only Cafe. The Rodhurst Easy Going Vibe Spot Very Good. Trudy Blues Under Construction Grassroots Good Vibe Gravel Lot. Cauldron of Death Authentic Medieval Torture Chamber with a Good Vibe. District Civil Dispute Office Low Key Vibey Artisanal Divorce Court. Pete's Sandwiches Charming Home Style Lunch Spot with a Bad Vibe.